Welcome back to day three of Photography Week, and I'm excited that today we're going to be diving into Lightroom. We're going to talk about um, how to use the adjustment brushes and the radial filter to edit your images. I think most of us dive into Lightroom and do a lot of work on the basic panel or use presets and some other things, but I have some tricks I'm going to show you today that will help you take your image to the next level without having to do global adjustment. And don't forget, there's just a few days left to grab the Photography Bundle by 5 Day Deals that includes my course as well as a lot of other courses. You can dive deeper into Lightroom, um, working with clients, all kinds of things. So be sure to check that out. The link is below. And let's go ahead and dive into Lightroom. Once you're inside Lightroom, you will see the library, mo library module and then there's the develop module. A lot of times we focus on the basic panel right here, maybe the tone curve, even some of these more advanced features. But what I want to show you today is how to use the Lightroom brushes and radial filter to edit your images. Using these features allow you to edit certain parts of your images without doing global adjustments. When you edit within the basic panel, anything you do in here, it's going to apply to your entire photo versus the adjustment brush is going to give you a lot more control. Now inside the photography bundle, if you have not grabbed that yet, go ahead and click the link below and go check it out and get your copy so that you can do this too. And if you've already grabbed it, um, be sure to download the Lightroom brush presets. Um, and when you do that, you can come over here. This is where the adjustment brush is. And we're going to click on that. And I'm going to show you a couple of these presets that come in the photography bundle as well as some other presets that are already loaded into Lightroom. So if you don't have those presets yet, you still can do some of these editing. So you'll come down here and you can see that these are all of the presets, the brush presets that are included in just one of <laughs> the sets in the photography bundle. There's way more in there. There's all kinds of different presets. I'm just gonna work with these today. So in here, I wanna click on the one that says Happy Trees. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna see this circle. We can make it bigger or smaller. I'm using the um, my mouse to do this, or you can come over here to size and make it as big or as small as you want. And basically, we're just going to paint. I'm holding down the left clicker on my mouse and I'm just gonna paint over all the landscape areas and you can see that while I'm doing this the landscape is getting greener and lighter this was a very cloudy cool day in Wales when we went on a hike and you can tell right away let me show you before this is before we use the adjustment brush and this is after and you can already see such a difference. It really gave the landscape some life. It just breathed life into all of it. Now here's a trick that you need to remember when using these adjustment brushes, and I know this because I mess up all the time, is so when you're done with it, press done. And that way it allows you to start a new adjustment brush um, versus changing what you already have. So this time I want to use focal point, but I'm not gonna use the adjustment brush. I wanna use the radial um, filter and it's still on adjust, it's still on focal point. These um, presets work for both of these. So if you're not familiar with the radial filter, it is, um, it's like a circle, you can change um, the shape of it or whatever you want, and it will edit only what's inside or outside of this circle. So for this one, you can see that it is editing everything outside, it got really bright. Um, so I don't want that. I want it to be editing the stuff inside the circle. So I'm going to click invert. And you can see that it put the landscape back to the way we had it. And it just created a little focal point of my girls walking down this path and helped light them up. You'll notice that when I did this, let me go back to it that I didn't keep the circle little, let me show you. I didn't just do this around them, okay? You don't wanna do that because that's not how light works. Let me uh, show you what that would look like. You can tell only they're kind of lit up and the path to them isn't really. So that's why I wanna try and pretend that this is like the light is illuminating the path, which is why I'm including the whole path and it just makes it feel a little bit more realistic. And so if we want to look at a before and after, click on these squares down here, 
You can see in just a matter of minutes using the adjustment brush and the radio filter, I have edited this image. And what's nice is I didn't have to mess with the sky since it's already slightly blown. If I had done global adjustments, it would have blown out the sky even more. And with those that cloudy day, I didn't want to do that. Um, so that is just a real quick edit that you can do, which is a nice little trick that I like to use when I'm editing. Um, you can even turn this sideways or however you want, but these are really fun to play with and I love that these come in presets so you don't even have to mess with the, um, the sliders. It's just done for you. So let's look at another photo. And this one is another landscape and we're gonna use the brush, adjustment brush again. This time we're gonna go, there is, um, there's dodge, which means to lighten, and they have structure. So I'm gonna use this one. Actually, I think I wanna use strong because it's pretty dark. Um, again, the reason I don't necessarily wanna use global adjustment for an image like this is the sky. I actually love how fluffy the clouds are and that the blue is coming through. So I don't want to lose that by making global adjustments when I knew that these buildings were kinda dark and they were dark because I was trying to preserve the sky when I was shooting them. This is in Denmark. Um, and you can see right away, look at the difference. Isn't that crazy? Um, I'm just gonna do the slight, light and slight. And that's much better for me because I just want a little bit of softness and um, a little lighter in the sky, but not enough that I'm going to lose the details in the clouds or the blue. And again, we need to click done. So let's look at a before and after. This is a portrait of my um, dear friend Trisha, and I want to do a little bit of editing on it. It actually looks pretty good straight out of the camera, but I'm going to use one of the portrait brushes, and they have all kinds of different features. One thing I will say is be careful using these, um, any kind of fine tuning on people's faces because people will notice if they look a little bit different. Personally, I don't like to remove wrinkles or um, m like freckles or anything like that. Uh, to me, that's just who people are and they're beautiful and that's how they look. Uh, but for here, she's wearing a hat, which is casting a shadow on her forehead and then under her eyes. So we're just gonna use this under the eye brush. Um, we made the brush a little small and we're just gonna softly paint under the eye. So you can see it's not a dramatic change, but if you look at the right eye versus the left eye, it just lightens it up a little from where the shadow is created. Okay, let's look at that before and after. Before and then after. It's nice, it's subtle. Um, make sure we click done. Uh, we never want anything too drastic when you're um, editing a person's face. But I do want to edit the background because it was a beautiful fall day. And so I'm going to come up here to, actually, you know what? I'm not going to use one of these. I want to just, um, we're just going to do it ourselves. So we're going to take an adjustment brush, make it a little bit bigger. Let me uh, zero all this out. If you double click on it, it'll take it back to zero. And that may, we're starting where we want to be. Okay. Um, so we're just going to paint over the background. We're not going to see any changes just yet because all our sliders are at zero. Check that. Okay, so if you're ever wondering if you have um, covered everything, if you just hover over the black dot of where you started, this red will show up and it will show you what you have painted over. So you can see there's certain areas that um, we have not painted over as much around her hat which is fine because I don't want to get too close to her hat, um, but it does mean that you need to be careful with your editing and you don't want to go too extreme or people will notice. And so what we're going to do here is I want to add a little bit of saturation and I'm going to adjust the hue to be a little bit more orange because um, I want it to feel very fall. Now, if we were doing this on the global adjustment, this would manipulate her skin tone and we don't want to manipulate anyone's skin tones um, when we're messing with these colors and the hues. That's one of the reasons I like to use these adjustment brushes with this kind of stuff because I can manipulate the color without affecting my subject's skin tones or any part of the images that I don't want manipulated. So again, a very simple edit. Let's look at it before and after. 
and it's not a huge drastic change but we have warmed up the leaves so it feels much more like a fall photo and then lightened up underneath her eyes as well so there's so much that you can do in Lightroom in the photography bundle they have several Lightroom courses in there as well as Lightroom presets you can use to just put a global preset on your photo um, or these are really cool these global I'm sorry, these adjustment brushes presets that work for the radial filter as well give you a lot of control over your image. So if you haven't grabbed your bundle, go ahead and click the link. Um, go check it out. See if it's something that you're interested in. I know that um, people are loving it, and they especially love, too, that a portion of it is going to charity. And so not only do you get to grow and invest in yourself, but you get to help others as well.